Hey everybody, this is going to be the King Kong 2020 uh, F3 flight controller. So now that I got that solder on, I can plug it in and we can check the ESCs and the BL Heli Suite. So I'll just plug it back together. Now we can plug it in. It comes with the JST connector and it also comes with this little LED. The LED is kind of the tough part because it's off of the, it says on here, fly egg. I guess this, I would assume it's coming off the flying egg because King Kong makes a flying egg. But it's got some Chinese symbols on it and I don't have any idea what those Chinese symbols are. So if you know, comment below if you know what those are. There's three of them. Obviously one of them is 5 volt and the other one's ground and the other one's LED. But I don't know which one's which and I don't want to guess. So it comes with a super tiny little beeper. The beeper is pretty small. Nine millimeters. So that's pretty tiny. It comes with two longer screws and two shorter screws. I'm going to have to drill out the holes on here because obviously the inner holes on this frame, the GPRC Sparrow, obviously the inner holes are not. They're like two millimeters and the outer ones are three mil. So let's plug it in and we'll check and see what we're running here. Plug your flight controller in. And then click connect on the BL Heli. It'll connect the flight controller. And then plug your battery in. And then click read setup. And it'll read what you got going on. And it's running 16.5. And set up with medium timing. Oops, sorry, you can't see that very well. I don't have my screen recorder set up, sorry. And beep strength 40, 80 for the beacon strength. It's running 5 for D shot. You want to go 16.3. So I'll end up reflashing all these when it comes time to do the build. But it comes with 16.5 on it. And it's just all standard setup, so you'll have to go in and change motor direction and stuff. So it does connect up to ESCs through BL Heli, just fine. Now we can connect to Betaflight. And it connects up no problem. Go to CLI, type inversion. And it has Pico BLX 316 from February 21st, 2017. And everything else is gonna be just like a standard flight controller. All your setup and everything when you go to do it. Ports, you got your one, two, three. So yeah, so far the only issue I have with it is I didn't read 2 to 3 S. I just looked on the diagram here and on the diagram here it shows 7 to 18 volts going in on that pin. I'll give an update whether it can handle 4 S or not but as of right now I gotta go with what they say so it's 2 to 3 S. So if you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, that should pretty much cover it. Have a great day. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff.